Well, there's the opposite. So we call we call things non-virtuous acts. Non-virtuous acts is is like the list that we're just talking about. Those are all non-virtuous. So there's not an avoid those. It's do virtuous acts. You do the opposite. So these are the things that you want to engage in in order to create positive effects. So we're always seeking not just to, to stop being other the problem of, for other people because of their suffering, but we want to actually become a blessing to them. That's really the idea. So that through my actions, may all beings have happiness and health. May everything I do, whether it's washing dishes, mowing a lawn, uh, making millions, losing millions, whatever I do, rather than be for me, may it be for the benefit of, of all sentient beings. That's our perspective. Yeah. Are there any, like, uh, holy sites or areas of pilgrimage in yes. Buddhism? Yes, we have quite a few, actually. Uh, most of them all in <clears throat> India. Uh, obviously, places like where the Buddha attained his enlightenment, in Bodhigaya, um, where he gave his first teachings, uh, where he passed away. There's numerous holy sites that we make pilgrimages to. Yes. Yeah, I was wondering about the, the role of women in Buddhism. Can women be priests in Buddhism? Yes. Uh, it hasn't always historically been that uh, for different cultures. Uh, some cultures where women don't have the... the the same social equality, it's harder for them to be a monk because you can't work as a monk. You have to beg. And so a lot of times those cultures won't support the women. Now, uh, almost all of them, you, they can be ordained. <clears throat> yes? What's the Buddhist stance on God? Or Excellent question. I was waiting for somebody to ask that. The, the Buddhist view on God so here's very briefly the conversation that Buddha had with a Brahmin. A Brahmin being a priest in, in Hinduism. Walks up to him and says, so, do you believe in God? And the Buddha says, no. And the Brahmin says, ah, so you're atheist. And the Buddha said, no. And he goes, so you do believe in God? And he says, no. And the Brahmin getting very upset with him says, what is it? You either believe or you don't believe. And the Buddha says, I'm saying no to your question. I'm negating your question. I'm not answering it. And the Brahmin says, well, why not? And the Buddha says, because that is for an individual to make their own connection to a divine being or to not have a connection to a divine being. So there's no blanket statement in Buddhism it's up to the individual to have that relationship or not have the relationship. We don't, we don't have anything to say about that. Our primary focus is that we follow the teachings in order to overcome our own temporary and ultimate suffering, but also to become the very finest, perfect human being possible. To equate that, we are trying to become to our fullest potential the Beatitudes that Christ taught. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Anything else that leads us from that, any other argument outside of that scope, has nothing to do with that practice and is a waste of time. It's entirely to the individual. So a Buddhist really could be a Christian at the same time as they choose Absolutely. to believe in the Christian God and then practice Absolutely. the teachings of the Buddha. Okay. My personal belief is that Christ is one of the greatest teachers ever walked on the planet. And I view him as one of my own gurus. Literally. So, it, it, I mean, I see nothing in there that, that, that he ever teaches that would be in any way a conflict to the Buddhist teachings. Uh, and vice versa. So, what 